During this time, it's so important for all of us to stay healthy. Yeah, we should get lots of exercise. Uh, you know, Abby Cadabby likes to have virtual dance parties where we all get up and move around. <laughs> I like that idea. We all need to eat yeah. healthy too. And there's no one on Sesame Street that knows more about eating than Cookie Monster. So let's check in with him now for a healthy snack. It's snack chat, snackity chat, doopa doodly doo. They'll show where you snack more than you chat. It's snack chat. Hiya! Me, your host, Cookie Monster. Before we start, we just want to make sure that everyone's hands nice and clean. Yeah, look, me hands clean as whistle. <sighs> me no can whistle. Now, if you're like me, you've been home eating lots of snackies lately. Yeah, toaster pastries, gone. Fruit cup, delicious, but gonesville. Granola bars, they long gone ski. But don't worry, cause me got little snacky idea for our little snacky chatty. Me going to show you how to make fruit smoothie. But don't worry, me not changing me name to Fruit Smoothie Monster. Me still Cookie Monster. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, first, be sure to have grown up help you. Now, in Blender, put any fruit you have. Me using strawberries. Add a little milk, add some ice, and blend it all together. And just like that, a delicious strawberry smoothie. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Cheers. Clink. Now that the look. Brain freeze. Mika brain freeze. Mika brain freeze. Uh, yeah, here a little snack chat snacking tip. Take it slow. <laughs> Something I thought we'd never see. <laughs> Strawberry smoothie. Oh my goodness. For more advice, let's talk to my good friend. She's joining us, Dr. Edith Bracho Sanchez, a pediatrician, that's a, a kid's doctor, from Columbia University New York Presbyterian Hospital. Welcome, doctor. So, so you heard from Cookie Monster there. What are your tips for staying healthy during this time? I 100% agree with Cookie Monster and good morning to everyone. We really, really need to try to eat all our smoothies, to eat our veggies, to try to really get enough sleep and get enough exercise, so not fighting bedtime and really, really having those dance parties. I strongly recommend those. <laughs> the I like dance, the dance parties, parties are the, too. <laughs> you know, they say to dance like no one's looking. No one's looking. That's <laughs> right right. Now. perfect time for it. <laughs> we have another. We have another question, doctor, uh, from a parent this time, uh, Jeannie Eason from Atlanta, and she wants to know when the time comes, what are some of the precautions we can make as we start to re-enter into this new normal. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent question. And I would say, first of all, that this new normal is going to look most likely a little bit different than what we remember. Schools might look a little different, but your friends are still your friends and your teachers are still your teachers. So when the time comes, it's going to be very important that we follow the recommendations of the experts, of the really, really smart people that are working hard to make sure that we're all staying safe. Even if school looks a, looks a little different, if restaurants look a little different, we're all in this together as you guys have been saying all morning. So important. Dr. Edith, speaking of us all being in this together, I know you also have a message about this for our Spanish-speaking viewers at home. That's right, Erica, gracias. A todas las familias latinas que nos escuchan esta mañana, les quiero decir que los pediatras estamos con ustedes. Sabemos que están pasando por momentos duros, pero estamos aquí para ayudarlos y para apoyarnos. Así que llámenos y de mi parte un fuerte abrazo. Dr. Eva, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for your messages today. Let's check in with Big Bird for our last question now. This one's coming all the way from the Philippines. Let's go to a question from another one of our friends. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Shanna. We just wanted to ask, aside from staying home, how else can I help my community? And will it be safe to go out or to go to school even without the vaccine? Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> These are the sweetest videos and questions. They really are. Yes. So, you know, we are going to, as we started off the show talking about, 
there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It may be a longer tunnel, and it can be a tough tunnel, I know that. Um, the vaccine is certainly going to help. The vaccine is going to be a medicine that we can take that can hopefully prevent us from getting this infection. But before that, uh, if we start uh, making sure that it's safe for people to go outside, maybe even making sure there's medicines, if people need medicines. Most people don't, Erica. I think that's always worth reminding people as well. As scary as this virus is, and I know it's scary for a lot of people out there, most people actually don't get that sick. Most people have very few, if any, what are called symptoms or any signs of getting sick. So remember that as well. But we've said it all day. We'll say it, uh, I think, for a long time. Mm -hmm. We're all in this together, Erica. How you behave is affecting me and how I behave is affecting you. And we should rise up to that. Absolutely. Uh, and you are helping all of us every day, Sanjay, to learn about it and also to remember that. So thank you. Um, a lot of people have been asking, how can I help? And our pals at Sesame Street have some great ideas on how you can help people in different ways. Take a look. Our town hall is coming to a close, and we'd like to thank all of our experts for their thoughtful advice around COVID-19. And everyone that sent in their questions. And thank you to our friends from Sesame Street for joining us, especially you, Big Bird, for moderating with us. Oh, my first town hall. Thank you. I, I learned a lot. <laughs> I did, too. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>